harness this capability and transfer it into our host subject, Freddy, the three-legged mouse. Parker, let's do it. Have you ever wondered what this structure is? What does it do and why is it shown here? Oh no! More about this in today's video. Hello and welcome everyone. In this day and age where everyone is talking about DNA, genes and vaccines, it becomes very important to understand the basis of it. So what is DNA? In the schools, everyone must have heard that DNA is the genetic material, but we fail to understand its importance. DNA is actually the blueprint or an information storehouse of how an organism must function and develop. It's like the scriptures of a religion. We are handed over this blueprint from our parents and that's why we look like them and sometimes behave like them. DNA is the core of any living organism. No DNA, no life. Now that we know how important this molecule is, we'll understand its composition. Like any complex structure is made from simple building blocks, like a Lego set is made from individual Legos, similarly DNA is made from units termed as nucleotides. These nucleotides are made from three different components, a sugar, a phosphate group and a nitrogen group. A DNA is built by using four different nucleotides. Consider these four different nucleotides as different colors of Lego blocks that you'd use. For now, let's call these nucleotides as red, green, blue and yellow. Now the nucleotides stack up on one another to form a strand of DNA. But this is just one half of DNA. DNA is a double-stranded molecule and to form such a structure, the red nucleotide forms a chemical bond with the green nucleotide on the opposite strand and the blue nucleotide forms a bond with the yellow one. And in such a way, a double-stranded DNA molecule is formed and it looks like a ladder, but in its true form, it's a helical structure and looks something like this. Now we arrive at a very interesting point. Can you guess how much DNA is present in a body? Well, to understand this, you must know where DNA is located. DNA is located and cooped up in all human cells, whether it is your brain cell, it is your liver, your skin, everywhere except the red blood cells. But that's a story for another day. And each cell has exactly the same DNA in it. In a cell, there are two copies of DNA, one coming from your mother and one from your father. And one copy of DNA is 3.2 billion base pairs. And together in a cell, there are 6.4 billion base pairs of DNA. That's a lot. Technically, you are a billionaire, but that's still less than Jeff Bezos. 6.4 billion base pairs is approximately 2 meters in length. How in the world would a 2 meter long molecule fit in a cell that has a diameter of 100th of a centimeter? To fit in a cell, DNA undergoes something called as compaction. And there are different levels of compaction. The first being where DNA wraps itself around ball-like proteins to form a structure called beads on string. And the final level of compaction is where DNA is the most compacted in a structure called a chromosome. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosome and these 23 pairs of chromosome contain 6.4 billion base pairs. You can see that each chromosome has two copies, one coming from your mother and one from your father. 
DNA carries all the information about an organism. Whatever you are today, it is because of your DNA. Your height, your metabolism, everything is because of the DNA. And it is very interesting to understand how this simple molecule conveys this amount of information. Consider DNA as the blueprint of a building. Each and every detail of the building is written in the blueprint. The builders transcribe this information from the blueprint and translate it into a desirable outcome. And what is the outcome? It's a beautiful building. Stay tuned for the next video.